Yeah, Sunday, <clears throat> November 28th, I think. Up here at the farm, finished with the blue paint on my little, uh, this is actually a backhoe trailer. I'll get to that in a second. 18 foot. Anyway, worked out about three quarter of a gallon or three quarts uh, to do what's visible from the top and some of the uh, underside, not much, just some of it. Got some bed liner. Dealing with the Biden economy. The dupe color, truck bed coating. All I needed was a couple quarts, if that. Well, I couldn't find two quarts of the same brand. So I had to buy a gallon of the damn stuff. And I haven't bedlined inside the fenders yet. I think next weekend I'm going to pull the tires and uh, wheels off and uh, the hubs, check the brakes, hubs, go ahead and repack the bearings. When I got all that, I'll uh, have it backed up inside a barn. And then uh, I think when I got the tires and wheels out of the way, then I'll bed line inside the fender. That'd be a lot easier. The old deck, I'll probably get another two or three years out of it. And it's going to have to be redecked. I'm seeing some rot on the uh, tails of the boards. Uh, I treat this deck every couple of years and uh, it still don't last. So, pulled the battery box and painted it, the metal part. Uh, painted all the tongue area up to the coupler. Uh, didn't feel like painting it getting paint all over everything uh, quality of the paint job yeah i'd put it about eight now it don't look like it's a brand new trailer and it ain't a brand new trailer i bought this thing uh, a backhoe came with it there's a little forward backhoe from the probably early 60s probably I can't remember backhoe numbers. This is equivalent to about a Ford 3000 tractor. Smaller one. Uh, modern equivalent would be a John Deere 210. Uh, 110, a little bit small. It would be about 210 John Deere. And never really used a backhoe too much. I loaned it to several people and dug up some water lines and to fix leaks for my neighbor near my factory. Yeah, it worked okay. Uh, but I threw it on Craigslist. And old man bought it, about what I paid for the backhoe. Some he ran when he was a young man, and he wanted that exact model. Uh, just so happened I had it, and uh, so he came to terms on the price. So all said and done, uh, this is an 18-foot trailer, 7,000-pound axles, brakes on both axles, uh, heavy-duty built, uh, two and five sixteenths bulldog hitch. I think I might have ended up with a trailer for about $1,100. And this is far and away my favorite trailer. I love this thing. Pulls true. Uh, I got to adjust the brakes or out adjustment. Uh, doesn't chew up the tires. The axles are not bent. Uh, again, far and away my favorite trailer. Uh, I've hauled a John Deere 350C dozer on it. A uh, pretty healthy load for it. A little dozer weighs about 9,400 pounds, I think. And I could tell I was pulling it, but it didn't flex. You know, the tongue don't flex, frame don't flex. So it's a good, heavy, stout trailer. And uh, my 450G ain't no way in hell I can put it on this trailer. It'll crush it. But that's okay. Uh, paint job turned out decent. <laughs> I'm not disappointed. And when I redeck it, I'll finish doing all the uh, cross members up underneath. I'll have a lot of bed liner left, and I'll probably end up coating the cross members with bed liner instead of paint when I redeck it. Uh, or I'll have no paint. You know, I don't throw anything away and I store myself correctly so it doesn't go bad on me. A uh, couple runs here and there on my paint job. Uh, don't care. 
Now I got real good coverage, uh, so it uh, will protect it for another 20 years from surface corrosion. So, yeah, it's a trailer I really like. I ain't gonna sell this one. I'm gonna keep it unless I die, and somebody else can sell it. But I like it, and uh, it was a shop-built trailer. It wasn't a branded trailer. And whoever built it, probably 30, maybe even up to 35, 40 years ago, did a hell of a good job. No weld repairs on it, no cracked welds. I've added uh, D-rings over the years and the winch plate. Uh, Bulldog hitch is still in great condition. Uh, has the battery box, got a video on that. But she's a good trailer. Got real light duty uh, safety chains, but I've never lost a trailer off of a ball in my life. And I've been pulling trailers for, geez, over 40 years. Uh, got some paint on the deck, don't care. Got a couple spots I missed, don't care. I might touch it up, hell I might not, I don't care. Uh, where I missed is where the winch plate is. Uh, solid built trailer, really like it. Uh, down here in Texas, northeast part of the state, it was cold and miserable and wet yesterday. Uh, today, sun's out, not a cloud in the sky. Out here in the sun, I'm sweating. Uh, temperature's probably in the mid 60s. They're getting some good heat from the sun. Like I said, I, I like the way it turned out. I own it. That's all that matters. But it, no, it, seriously, it turned out real nice. You know, using a roller and a brush. So that's about all for this one. Thank you.